Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania Trump praised for gorgeous look at black tie dinner. She looks like a princess. Once again, First Lady Melania Trump turned heads as she arrived at Blenheim Palace, the birthplace of Winston Churchill, yesterday evening to attend a black tie dinner hosted by Prime Minister Theresa May. The arrival was all pomp and circumstance and the Trumps were treated as royalty would be despite Trump calling May on the carpet for her disastrous handling of Brexit and other matters. President Trump is also being protested by large crowds in London today. These are English socialists who want the status quo and not freedom. One thing is for sure, Melania took their breath away when she arrived for their first official visit to Britain. President Trump was resplendent in a black and white tux that fit him to a T. Flotus, however, was decked out in a $6,900 ready-to-wear pale-off-the-shoulder yellow chiffon gown from French label J. Mendel. She looked remarkably like a Disney princess. In fact, I personally think she is more beautiful than one of those characters. There is little doubt that Melania Trump is the most beautiful first lady to ever grace the White House and last night she looked exquisite and queenly. The soft, demure gown featured a wrapped bodice, floor-length pleats and a billowing cape that gave her a dramatic, yet delicate look. She literally put Theresa May to shame. The ensemble was finished off with minimal jewelry and sky-high stiletto heels in a matching pastel color. You don't need many accessories when you are dressing a beautiful woman like Melania Trump. The dress went viral instantly and the designer dropped the price to $2,996. It completely sold out in minutes. Social media was on fire with those who were dazzled by the first lady. But of course, there were many on the left who attacked her appearance. I guess they miss Michelle Obama's upper arms. Most of us don't and simply adore Melania for looking and acting like the historic first lady that she is. The Trumps are scheduled to meet Queen Elizabeth II this afternoon at Windsor Castle after President Trump meets with Prime Minister May in the morning. You can bet all eyes will remain on Melania during this trip. She is wowing both her fans and those who cut her down. Americans are secretly loving it to pieces. They are proud of President Trump and Melania and they should be. He's a brave, charismatic, handsome leader and Melania is the queen all women dream of becoming one day. She is a fairy tale princess come to life. The first couple was joined by dozens of businessmen and other dignitaries as Theresa May made a pitch for an ambitious free trade deal with the U.S. Trump has stated that not only has May butchered Brexit, in doing so she may have scuttled our free trade agreement with the Brits. I guess we will see. Evidently, Trump pointed out that May ignored his advice over negotiations with Europe, saying, I actually told Theresa May how to do it but she didn't agree, she didn't listen to me. The placards waved by thousands of protesters in London today were given out by Stop the War Coalition and the Socialist Workers' Party. They are blaring obscenities and are getting high as a kite according to one source on the ground there. These are the same communists we are standing against here in the United States. President Trump warned the Brits today that they are losing their culture and country due to open borders and he is right. During dinner, Theresa May made an impassioned speech asking President Trump to move quickly to cut a trade deal with Britain after Brexit. She said, there are thousands of British employers with a long-term presence in the U.S., providing well-paid work and driving economic growth in every state. Altogether, from Maine to Alaska, more than a million Americans work for British companies. Now, as we prepare to leave the European Union, we have an unprecedented opportunity to do more. It's an opportunity to reach a free trade agreement that creates jobs and growth here in the U.K. and right across the United States. But it is a deal we agreed to make with Britain on its own, not semi-tied to the EU. Trump hailed Boris Johnson as a future prime minister while there. Johnson quit as cabinet minister this week when he found out that May was going to sabotage Brexit. Trump also accused the London mayor, Sadiq Khan, of doing a bad job on terrorism and said there had been too much immigration in Europe. I think the time for diplomacy is over. I'm glad that President Trump is being blunt and laying it out for May and the Brits. It's long overdue. The guests dined on Scottish salmon and beef, followed by strawberries and clotted cream ice cream. After dinner, President Trump was scheduled to go on a tour of the House's Winston Churchill exhibition, in the company of the Duke of Marlborough. I would have loved to have been there. I'm a huge fan of Winston Churchill. It's a pity that an American is far more like Churchill these days than the Brits are. And America's Churchill has his lovely bride by his side stealing the show. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.